All right, everyone. So real quick, um, I had a ballast that went out. I went to purchase a new one. Um, and then that's when I started to realize that the ballasts are actually a little bit different than they used to be. Um, this is actually the first ballast that I changed, but it was kind of hard to find because looking at the size of the way this ballast was at first, I mean, it's a heavy ballast. Um, and then looking at how they're being made now, um, made it look like I was probably getting the wrong product. So once I realized I was getting the right one, <clears throat> um, figuring out how to measure the ballast and all that, which is right here. I did not know any of that at first, um, but I did go to Lowe's and they explained all that to me. But um, connecting the new ballast is a little easy, but the difference between the old one and the new one, where I said this is a four wire ballast, you have your black and your white here, and then you have your red and your blue on this side here. Um, and the way this used to be was your red and your blue would attach to um, one side of your bulbs, whereas to, and this is from a two bulb system, uh, your black and your white would then splice into your ceiling where your power was coming from. Um, and then also it would V off into the other side of your bulbs to make it work. So it's a pretty easy setup, but it's old technology. <clears throat> so the new technology that they have, and I already had this installed because I think it's going to be easier to show you. Um, kind of a dirty garage, so we'll try to avoid showing that to you. Um, it's a garage door opener, just ignore it. But you'll be able to see here where my, my wires come out here, the black and the white. You'll see some blue wires and a red wire. And mainly that's because it's balanced right up here on the chair. Get on the chair and turn around. Is these new ballasts here, do you still have your black and your white? I'm trying not to touch anything because I don't have anything covered. Black and your white here. And then you have two blues and a red. And the way this works is now instead of splitting that power that's coming off the ceiling here, you see you have your black and your white coming off the ceiling of your power. That's now going directly into the ballast, black and white. Once you have that connected, preferably connected last, you're gonna take your two blue wires and you're gonna run those to one end of your lights. So I put only one light in here just to make it a video a little easier to show. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your red wire, your red wire is gonna come off and you're gonna splice it and you're gonna put it onto both ends of your bulbs on the other side. And I'm gonna go over here real quick so you can see it. both ends of the bulb there. Gotta be real careful because it's not covered up just yet. And I did try this with both bulbs in um, and it did work so I know it's good here. But going back over here real quick to the old ballast. <clears throat> so the main difference between this old and the new one, instead of using the black and white here and attaching them from the ceiling to the ballast and back to one side of the bulb, with the new one, your black and white wires from your ceiling are going to go directly into the ballast only. You're going to have your two blue wires. Both your two blue wires on the new ballast are going to go to one side of the bulb. And then you have a middle red wire on your new ballast as well. That red wire you're going to need to split into two to bring to two of the, your last two sides of the bulbs. Um, one thing I would recommend, don't trash your ballast before... You start installing the new one um, and the reason why I say that is because you can see here these wires are short I went ahead and used some of these wires uh, realized I only needed the red one um, to make my splice to make my red wire connect to both of the two um, so one last time to go back up here look up the new ballast fry in the video so you got the new ballast here this black and white is coming directly from the ceiling. So your power source goes directly into the ballast now. From that, your two blue wires go directly to one end of the bowl. In my case, I move that end down here just because it's shorter. 
based on the smaller ballast. The red wire, I had to split that in two and connect it to the other end of the bulb down on that side. Both of them. We'll zoom out a little bit. And get past the garage door. There we go. Black and white connected to the ceiling. The two blue wires connected to both ends of the bulbs on this side. The red wire was split in two and connected to both ends of the bulbs on this side. And that's it. Thanks for watching.